To be a bike courier that doesn't get yelled at is either a myth or a lie. <laughs> Haters gotta hate. There's a bond once you've done couriering and dealt with traffic and all that and all the people not respecting you on the road. You're kind of branded in a way from that experience, right? Well, yeah, a lot of people do seem to think couriers are a threat or a menace. I think the main thing is, though, is the racing through traffic. People see that and they say, holy cow, those people must be totally insane. That's ridiculous, dangerous. What's wrong with those people? You know, must have a death wish, but you know what I mean? And once you've done something 10,000 times to someone else who's only never done it before, it's going to look like uh, magic. You're going to make it look easy to that person who's never done it before, right? You can't really know what it is until you do it, you know what I mean? I can say that about a lot of things, but that's really true about being a bike courier. A lot of drivers expect you to be like a pedestrian when we're supposed to be like a vehicle. You know, yelling at you to get in the bike lane or yelling at you to move over. It's symbiotic, like you, you need kind of like to work with each other. You know, you don't, you don't exist to them and you have to know that you don't exist to them and that's how you keep yourself alive, you know? It's playing a fun little game, playing invisible man and you'll be all right. I don't know, the drivers are going to do fucking stupid shit, that's what they do, you know what I mean? Talking on cell phones and doing their nails and shit, but that's just, you know, that's just, that's just fucking comes with the territory, you know, you know what I mean? Like, every courier knows you, you, you learn this little shit, like when you see a wheel turn or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, fucking, but I mean, that's, that's, that's half the fucking fun of it, you know, you know what I mean? Is being able to just fucking see shit before it happens. I said, it's like I was telling my dad one time that he was talking about that. I mean, how that can, that foresight can transcend into like, uh, like other aspects of your life, you know what I mean? Like I'll be at the fucking grocery store or some shit, right? And it'd be crowded, you know, people are walking around and I'll like, I'll know that this girl is gonna step this way because I looked at her grocery basket and she's got tomatoes, cucumber, and I know that she's going for the feta. You know what I mean? So I know she's going towards the feta. So I go this way before she even knew she was going towards the feta. You know what I'm saying? That, like that, that type of shit. It's, it's fucking, it's funny how like, I don't know, couriers are good for that. Like for knowing that something's gonna happen before it's gonna happen because of the environment of the surroundings. You know what I mean? Uh, people say, well, you break the law. Well, I break the law as soon as I pick up my bike every trip. For one thing, I'm riding the sidewalk. You know, I, my bike's on the sidewalk, I break the law. How many times do I break the law? Oh, it happens every trip, I'm breaking the law somehow. Is it necessary? Absolutely. I mean, we could just ride really calm and, and you know, frigid-like and not do anything and not make any money. Your clients, my clients, expect us to do it right away, get it done. When it says it's on an urgent, it means it's on an urgent. They're expecting it. You get it there. And you do it as best way as you know how. It's always in the back of your mind. You know, if something goes wrong, you can lose. A 2,000 pound car versus me on a bike, like I'm, I am gonna lose. I don't think I stress about it very much, um, but it is always in the back of your head. I think you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. You gotta know where you gotta be to be safe. Most people see us as that jerk ripping through traffic and like swerving in front of people and cutting cars off and like, flipping off cars and stuff, but I think that's just sort of like mental stress, and I don't think it really like affects the way I deal with people or the other couriers deal with people, so I think people just need to talk to couriers and interact with them, and then it'll show, like, they'll see we're all kind of good people, so, yeah.